go. We got to talk about Aaron Spears, man, who is definitely one of the most powerful forces and brightest lights in my life. And he tragically passed away a couple of months ago now. I can't believe it's already been a couple of months, but I know you guys are friends too. And what did Aaron mean to you? To, to talk about Aaron, a lot of people won't understand because it's not somebody that you just seen like on my side mm-hmm. all the time or not. I'm not like, I'm not Gerald Hayward, which is drumming legend. I'm not Jamal Moore, which is his little brother. I'm not raised in D.C. like all the other drummers. But Aaron Spears is a drummer that honestly made me the drummer that I am. He gave me, he gave me, he gave me the ass kicking I needed. Like to mm. say it like that, to be honest. Yeah. 2000. No, we're going to go 96. Wow. 96, 1996. And I'm about to tell my age now. 1996. <laughs> um, I was 15, 16 years old. And Aaron is, I think, six years older than me. And we were at Gospel Music Workshop. And me and Aaron sat down to play drums. Actually, I was already messing around the drums. And he sat down on another drum set. And I'm 16. And we played um, a 6 a groove. And he made me feel this big. <laughs> and when he made me feel that big... I knew then I was like, if I ever sit down with him again, it's going to be on and cracking. That one incident fueled my fire. Like being bagged on being a fat kid, Mm. but not the way he, he motivated me so amazingly because of the human that he was when we got done. He was like, man, you sound great. He was like, you just got to practice in the six. Hey, but man, you you got some chops, kid. Like you, man, you good. I was like, bro, you just murdered me. He was like, no, nah, man. He was like, no, nah, man, you sound good. He was like, man, you're 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 great. What's your name? And from then on, years later, when in drum off, sitting down, talking, going to NAMM shows, hanging out, phone calls, literally the night he passed away, which is a few days after his birthday, I literally was just texting him because we both like Guadana from Brazil. It's a special soda. Mm. And I was in South America and I showed him a Guadana. I was like, look, bro, I got some Guadana. He was like, drink stuff for me. <laughs> Two days later, I'm on live and I'm watching Eloy play drums. And he's like, yo, that's the dude. This is the night. Like he's on my live, commenting on my live. And then the next day, I get to the city where I am, and I get woken up with that phone call, and it it was so crushing, yeah, so crushing. I had a drum clinic, and I literally was like, I don't feel like playing. I I'm sad, and I cried, and I called Thomas, I called Ronald, and we all cried, yeah, and we all was sad. And it just hurts. Yeah. It hurts so bad that an amazing human being, then a superhero on drums, yeah. can be taken from this world so quickly. Yeah. It really, it really hurt. It really hurt. But he his memory and him will live on forever because he's that great. He's that great. And his his playing ability is in so many different drummers and yeah. their vocabulary and people all over the world who play the stack. Mm-hmm. Like the way he played the stack. Yeah. Now it's all about working on the attitude and being yeah. a light because his light shines so bright. It's, it's amazing how you could be the one of the dopest drummers in the world, but your light is brighter than your drumming. And oh, you're yeah. already that great. You're that guy. But your light, your humanity, 
is amazing. <laughs> Nuts. I just got a package back in the mail uh, from like from the Dope Sticks office. He literally had just bought Dope Sticks right before he passed away. No way. How you? Really? It, it came back because he couldn't sign for the package. Oh my god, dude! Because he's that he's that supportive of a friend. You to, have to order own, to order to order sticks to order dope sticks. He just Bro, wanted I, to, he just wanted to support you and try them. Probably, I, I like we're in a we're in in talk right we're in the thing. That's the package that just came back in the mail. Yeah, Aaron Spears. Yeah, returns return to sender. Oh, return to sender from Aaron, bro. That's crazy. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's the best, dude. He, bro, the he, best, the the ultimate best, ultimate like, best human, like supportive. Get on a phone call, you're. On, how do you stay in touch with everybody? Yes. How, how do you how do you call everybody and always check up on always people? checking in? How? Yeah. You're on tour. You're doing like how? How do you even have time? Yeah. Amazing. All of us of like this drumming community, everyone I talk to, we've all been saying the same thing, which is like, and your super dad, I just, and your super husband, super dad, super husband. You play at the church. You got to learn yeah. multiple musics, everything. You're working with the schools. You're working with your companies. You're 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 not just staying at one drum company because you get free drums. You're like, no, I need a drum company that's going to push the barriers and do for others and make conscious efforts into society. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And talk about like, you can't even compliment him because <laughs> he's so humble that he doesn't even want, if you're just like, man, you're I so amazing. His- He'll be like, nah, 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 nah. No. He, like he doesn't even totally. want to. He doesn't even want to hear it. Doesn't no. even want it to enter his ears For that real. you think he's great in any way. At all. At all. Because he's just- He's just like, I'm just a guy, man. Just a guy, you know, like unbelievable. Super blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not cry no more, man. man. Y'all make. Can we get a hand clap for Aaron Spears? Man? Yes. <laughs> that guy. Love Aaron Spears. That guy. Man, I released a version. The first version of Jam Card came out in 2014. No one knows about it because then the real like it, it failed. And then like in 2017, I released the actual version that everyone thinks is when it came out. In 2014, there was a failed version that came out. Aaron Spears was on it. What? Aaron got on it. Texted me on it. And was just like, this is so dope, bro. So proud of you for like building this, man. I can't believe it. And I was just like, what? And I knew that it was not dope. It was broken. This this version one of Jam Card was not dope. <laughs> but he still. Supported. But he was on. I have a screenshot, and it hit me. And it hit me the other day because like I was looking at you know like an iPhone or in your iPhone, it has like yeah, yeah, faces yeah. of people. Yeah. And I was and I was going through my phone and, and it was Aaron's face, so I clicked on it. It's a bunch of photos of Aaron and me wow. and whatever. And and it was his profile photo. From version one of Jam Card because I screenshot it back in 2014 because I remember when he got on that meant so much to me. I was like, "Holy shit, Aaron Spears is on this!" Like that because at the time him and I were like friends, but yeah. we had just gotten to know. I wasn't like I, we got way closer over totally. the years, but back yeah. then I was just really more a fan than I was no, it's a cool. friend. That was right? like the younger us. Just yeah. Like I'm saying like yes. the younger us when we come into to adulthood and and not just being a drummer. Yeah. That's where you learn. Exactly, man. But he was on that version, bro. There was no other big musicians on that version. That's amazing. It was just Aaron. And then of all big musicians, like Aaron, just like a god, you know, of so the cool. drummers. Like, and then and then of course when 2017 came out, we actually really released Jam Card. He was like, Man, anything, what can I do to support? And he and we made like this we made this image that's still on the welcome page of Jam Card of the app when you open it. And it's and it's his he's he's one of the fifty musicians that was like we took their faces and he was in the collage and then and then we launched Jam Card Mentors, which was a product specifically to just help mentor yeah. the next generation. I'm sure he we launched it in. with Aaron. Aaron was like, I'll be the first person on there. I want I'll give one on one mentorships yep. just because he's always giving back. Just like the best, dude. Like really, and and when I look at that, I'm like, and this isn't even something that I realized until he passed. That part, right? Like I didn't. It we was. It wasn't it, until I was reflecting that I was like, look at me, dude. My first, my first time making an app, he was there to support immediately. My first time now really launching Jam Card, he was there to support. We launched Jam Card Mentors, he was there to support every time. He was like the firsts in all those first people. Aaron was in there, man, for real. You know, and like just to show 
support. This is why he's ordering dope sticks, even though he's got his own signature stick Dude. with another company. He's in there ordering your sticks. Amazing. And paying. That part. Not not just hitting me up yeah. as a lot of drummers do. Would like, do. Yo, just send me some. Yeah, send me some. Yeah. Nobody greater. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> and he would hate that we're talking about how awesome he is right now. <laughs> he would. I know he would. I know he would. Yo, E. Yo, He'd be like, nah, 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 nah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, come on. Yeah, man. I, I um, I paid, I paid major homage and tribute to him at the Tam Tam Drum Festival. I saw that, bro. That was beautiful. Yeah, he's that guy. It's is sorry, it, it sorry, not sorry. He's that guy. It ain't, it ain't that a person want to chop like him. It's just that when you're that amazing of a human being. And you leave this earth, is it sucks and it yeah. hurt. And when you play drums and you think about it all in within the same thing, you go to go do the child like, in, 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 or something like, or even doing a hi hat choke, yeah. like a hi hat choke. Yes, you've heard plenty of drummers do a hi hat choke, but when you heard Aaron Spears do that hi hat choke off that sixteen inch floor tom, yep, it was so. I think I should play it like that because yeah. that was awesome. Yeah. Or how can I flip it? Because Aaron Spears did it really, really awesomely. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, I saw I saw that I saw that video of you with uh you had him up on the screen. Yeah. And then at the end you were like you screamed his name. Yeah, totally. It, which was that, awesome, man. It was really of, emotional. None of that is for none of that is for cameras. Like I could care less about what anybody no. else thinks. Like he definitely super super set me off as a musician set me that time 2000 i mean 1996 gospel music workshop from there on that fire and then let's say there i went drum off in um 2003 but he comes out with ushers puerto rico in 2004 on youtube that's when youtube 2003 2004 is when youtube just came out yeah we're both big guys yeah. everybody Everywhere I go, I'm always compared. I was I've been yeah. compared to Aaron Spears like my whole career. Yeah. Like everything. Oh, Aaron Spears, Eric Moore, Aaron Spears. Yeah. He's amazing. He's amazing. I'm I'm not knocking it. I just try my best to be me, but Aaron Spears, dope. Yeah. Super dope. He used to use the word dope all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you know what's funny? Another Aaron memory that I have that really resonated with me was um this was probably 2018. We did a jam jam at Capitol Records with Ty Dolla Sign. You were there. Definitely. And uh, amazing jam jam, by the way. Too. That was a great jam jam. We literally hot boxed Capitol Studios. <laughs> Crazy. That's because you had the free plug on everything. You walked in, and yeah, the, that's what we like doing with the jam jams. It, we, if you, when you walk into a jam jam, you know, it's like, here's free alcohol, here's free weed, here's here's the best instruments and all the best musicians, hand Amazing. curated. Amazing. <laughs> I always just try to make musician paradise is the jam jam, right? So friendly. I want the musicians everybody. to walk in and be like, this is where I want to be all the time. And also everyone is happy. You leave your ego at the door. Yep. No egos. All support, all love. And and we that's like probably what I'm most proud of with the Jam Jam is the attitude of the Jam Jam. When you walk in, you can have musicians that have egos, check it at the door without you don't even have to tell them to, they do it. They just know it's like it's so dope. It's the ethos is support, right? And excitement of each other. I want to see Eric murder it right in front of me. Oh, okay, great. So anyway, so at that jam jam with uh, Ty Dolla Sign and Mike Moore, big shouts to Mike Moore. He, um, or uh, I, it was in the improv in the very beginning part of the jam. I think I was drumming with someone, and then you jumped up on the on the second kit. Yeah, you and I were double drumming totally. with with the jam. And then all of a sudden, uh, I think it was Eric Zane, like the MD, called out, "All right, cool, like shed, like let's go, like on the one." And I was just like, "No, dude, <laughs> not with. I don't want to shed with Eric Moore. Are you kidding me?" I literally, if you probably look at the close I'm just like grooving. He's like, let's do a shed. Just like, oh. Uh. <laughs> so real quick, just to butt in, just a yeah. key throw a little bit. When I when I shed, especially in a in a in a moment like that, even when I got to play with Anderson Pack, yeah, it's never forgot about it's that. It's never for it's never for uh, um. I desire to chop a person's head off. Right. It's because we're playing music. Yes. I want to build that groove and however we're playing. Yes. To make a marriage. Like, yo, when they shed it, it wasn't a him beating up on him. It was a a, a coincide to make it be so impactful. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I'm not that. 
now if we sat down and shed like on two drum sets away from everybody or yeah that's a we're real shit we're just going but in the yeah, jam jams yeah. just like you said leaving yeah. the ego at the door and just making it amazing that's the feeling is oh, awesome dude. and it, wait I, I totally forgot about the you and anderson pack oh it was, drum, was double drum at the jam jam we'll get to that but like i, I so i remember so at at Capitol records you and i started to shed and i was my immediate reaction was like god oh, <laughs> I don't want to do <laughs> right. really but then but then we and then we did we had a great musical conversation totally. and it was an awesome moment and then the jam kept going and yeah. i was like thank god i pulled it off i got through it didn't nah, look like that, an idiot no nah, you was <laughs> killing and, no. and believe me yeah. it's always going it, man i'm not i'm not him i don't want to make a drummer be insecure about his playing or to put him on camera and sound bad like that yeah. now if we had a real shit and we shedding yeah, it's, 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 we've done that too. I've yeah. gone to your house and we've done it, that. It's gonna be off but, with your head, but <laughs> but I remember. So we when we did that, then like a clip came out the next day, or whatever, of that moment of you and I and Aaron Spears sent it to me, right? And he was like, "Man, I'm in a group thread and and everyone's passing this clip around, and it's like we're all talking. It's like you and Eric sound so great together, bro. That's I love seeing bro. you guys play together, man. I wish I was there." And I, and I remember Aaron sending me that clip because to me, you know, like. I mean, I'm still a fucking drummer. That's totally. who I am the nah, most. Even though definitely. now I drum the least compared to it's because work, but all the I other work it. stuff. But like, I'm still a drummer. That's like my uh, who I am more totally. than anything, right? So to have it be like you and me shedding at this yeah. at this event that we did together, and then like Aaron Spears hitting me up about it and giving Amazing. praise. I was I remember that moment just being like, that's awesome. I just love how he encourages. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's he's a fan. Yeah, of everybody. Yeah, a, a genuine fan. Yeah. The it's supporter amazing. to so many people. That's and that's the other thing. When he passed, I couldn't believe who everyone that I talked to on the phone all said the same thing. Everyone's super devastated, and everyone said the same thing. Man, I just talked to him. Man, Ar man, Aaron's my support. Everything, and just like you said, how yeah. did he? Everyone felt amazing. so loved from him. It's amazing, and like they had his attention. And he's he, he make you feel he like you're the only out. one in the room. He had to figure it out. 